We're the USA UN SDG Young Innovators, and we've taken on a challenge that delivers a business solution and alleviates energy poverty for remote communities not connected to the electricity grid. Energy insecurity for remote communities is a challenge in developing regions around the world, leading to unaffordability, lack of reliability, economic stagnation, and environmental and health-related impacts. A significant portion of these communities rely solely on diesel fuel for energy. So, we asked ourselves, can we develop a commercially viable and scalable solution for remote communities that presently rely solely on diesel fuel for energy? The relevant sustainable development goals for a project must be selected in close collaboration with the community and must be based on urgent community needs. While our project will have a significant impact on several SDGs, the key SDGs where we will have the most impact are on SDG 7, SDG 8, and SDG 17. We've developed a solution that begins with a decision-making framework examining several variables divided into three separate components. Social, political, and technical solutions. The framework examines nine different variables, the most important being scalability and optimization, which is critical to this effective delivery model. Let us show you how it works by bringing you through four different stages of our framework. We applied our framework to Canada's northern regions, which are highly subsidized and consume approximately 120 million liters of diesel fuel per year. This fuel is highly subsidized to compensate for the high transportation costs of delivering fuel to the remote communities. Nunavut has the highest annual generation of these regions, at 55 million liters of diesel fuel per year. This is correlated with approximately $60 million of government subsidies, all while 60% of Nunavutians still live in public housing. Diesel is expensive to transport and intermittent if the fuel source is depleted. Using our framework, we examine several different technologies based on how economical they are to deploy and whether they can be optimized through scale. Although all technologies have their positive attributes, wind, battery, with diesel base load was chosen based on the substantial wind resource in the region, similar to the US Midwest, and it's relatively inexpensive to develop. By implementing this technology, we can reduce diesel dependency by 50% and eliminate 870,000 tons of GHG emission. None of it is one of the most remote and difficult territories to operate in. Yet, we still managed to develop an integrated energy solution which supports community inclusion, proving that it can be applied anywhere in the world. With none of it, there are three key considerations to gain community support. With any transition to a newer alternate energy source, there will be impacts to employment. We've identified these impacts and we've developed solutions to ensure that community members are upskilled, employed, and that they benefit from the project. With this specific region, we've also identified that a joint venture agreement would be best to compensate for any job losses. Through a power purchase agreement, private investors attain their necessary rates of return. Indigenous communities attain equity ownership, and the utility continues to sell energy. Energy tariffs can be reduced by an average of 30%. 870,000 tons of GHG emissions can be avoided to 2060 and subsidies can be reduced by approximately $12.5 million per year, all while still returning profits for private investors and developing equity within the community. Our framework has proven that you can develop a commercially viable, scalable, and integrated energy solution for communities living off of the grid. We can do that through the four different stages we just described, and we're delivering. We can directly contribute to three SDGs while still tracking towards the 2030 Agenda. We can reduce diesel dependency by 50% in these communities. We can eliminate 870,000 tons of CO2 emissions. We can directly contribute to a community through a revenue sharing agreement. We can reduce the levelized cost of energy by 30% and improve government spending by reducing subsidies by 12.5 million. All this while providing acceptable returns to a private investor. Can you imagine the impact we can have globally with an integrated energy solution which measures and tracks progress towards the 2030 Agenda? But as a core component of each project phase, 
through the ideation, creation, and implementation phase. We believe that SDG 17 partnerships will be key to the success and the pursuit of a better world through positive change. We are passionate. We are committed. We are positive change. And we are Hatch.